So y'all listen, why it's so hot outside that I stepped outside for like two seconds to get, you know, to go to the car. I broke out in a whole sweat, so I had to go back inside, get my shade, I had to give me some water. Like, it's like really, really hot out here. If I can describe the heat, the heat to me, uh, it feels like, y'all ever been cremated before? That's what it feel like. It feel like I'm being cremated alive. So, yeah, it's hot. So, definitely make sure y'all stay hydrated out here in this summer heat. Ah. He's even hot in this car. I feel like I was set in hell just now. But yeah, let's go on and get to this place so whew, we can peep game on these RVs. So y'all listen, I just got to the place, right? So it reminded me of something that somebody said. Y'all look at this Allegro bus. This stuff is good. Nice. I really like this model. This ain't in my price range though. I did see the inside of it the other day, but I can't afford this. But anyways, so long story short is uh, somebody told me that they don't live this lifestyle. So I was telling them I was looking for an RV and how it's stressing me out, right? And it was like, it's just an RV. Like, it ain't that serious, right? But I'm just like, if you don't get this lifestyle, you'll, you know, you don't really understand. But, you know, this is my home. You know what I'm saying? It's like literally like you're buying a home. And if you guys were with me in the beginning, you know that Vicky was, you know, I have Vicky almost two years now. I wasn't expecting on keeping Vicky this long, you know what I mean? Yeah, she's older. Um, I wanted something a little bit newer so I can do some longer travels. So, you know, Vicky was only supposed to be uh, a temporary situation. And now it's time to upgrade so I can do some more longer travels and uh, really get to enjoy the life a little bit more. Also, I need more space, not necessarily size-wise, but the layout. I think the layout makes a big difference and plays a big part in the RV that you choose. So I definitely gotta find something with a better layout so I can uh, have it for five years, you feel me? So I'm gonna show y'all what I found and we're gonna take a look at it in the inside together. I'm like walking to where it's at, this like place is huge. Y'all, this is it. I found it. So this is a 38 foot 2020 Thor Challenger. Um, I absolutely love the color on this thing, man. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's an outside TV. They ain't got no outside kitchen, but the compartments down here, I can figure something out. You guys know I like to get custom. So let's step on in. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. Now, every RV that I walk in, I always feel like I have to remodel. So let me just show you all the front cab area. This is pretty cool. Don't really have to do nothing here. There's also a drop down bunk at the top, but this sofa, this gotta come out of here. That dining room boot gotta come out of here. But look at all of the space, y'all. Look at all of this walking space. But this, I absolutely love. So fireplace, TV on the televator, it's across from the actual sofa, not directly across, but you know, if I'm sitting out right here, I can definitely still enjoy my TV, you feel me? So this is pretty good. The cabinet colors, I love. I like the countertop colors. I really like the color scheme in here. The only thing I don't care for too much is that backsplash around this uh, stove right here, but it's all right. It's not, I'm not in love with it, but this is beautiful. But taking this boat out of here, that gotta come out. But look at all this walking space. Like it's literally like a lot of space in here. This is a half bathroom, small, but it does the job. Full size refrigerator in here. Love that. What is this? Pantry probably. Yeah, pantry. Huge. I don't know if y'all can see this on the video, but it's huge. Pull out drawers. I'm guessing this washer and dryer. Yep. Stackable washer and dryer at that, which I absolutely love. I can't, I do not like the combo. And I like the fact that this bed tilts back. It tilts like that. Now, mind you, even with the bed not tilting, it still comes up to like about right here, which still have a lot of walking space. But with it tilted back like this, you give you, give you so much more space. Love this. Let's see the closet space. This is closet space. This is actually a pretty good closet. Like it's a huge size. Nice size closet. TV right here. 
and the primary bathroom. Now I do feel like they could have pulled this toilet probably a little bit more over here and gave you a much bigger shower. That's just me, but it's not bad, but it's not, it's not great, it's small, you know, two people tight. But if they would have pushed that toilet over, they could have gave so much more closet space. I mean, uh, shower space, but this is good. I love this, this is real nice. Love it, love it, love it. This is my favorite feature right here. I love this fireplace elevator thing. This is cool. And the price is not bad at all. I don't know if this is five years though. I can probably get a good three out of here. But I think I'll get bored after five. Five years I'll get bored with this. But three, I can definitely get a good three. But I wanted to probably step along the lines of the, the diesel. Uh, this will still be technically gas. I think this probably one of the largest uh, gas motorhomes, 38 feet that you can get with the Thor line. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I heard that diesel is a better ride. And when you get bigger tire tires, it makes it more comfortable. So I'm going to show you all the next video. I'll show you all um, one that I saw. Let me go get the video of it. I'm going to show you all one that I absolutely love. Let me show you all. This is by Integra. This is a 40 foot. If I had to really bite the bullet, like this would be something that I would get probably a hundred thousand dollars more than what I even want to spend. But if I had to bite the bullet and really get the RV that I really, really, really want, I absolutely love this one. I like the color scheme and let me show you all the inside, the inside ah, of these cabinet colors are exactly like, I love the cabinet colors. This is exactly what I like. But the only thing is I hate the fact that every RV that I step in, I feel like it's not technically what I want. I still would have to do some things to it. So here, I listen, the sofa's right here. The sofa's cool. You know, it's not the most comfortable, but I like the fact that it's directly across from where the TV, the TV is actually back there. It's on a televator. So it covers up the whole window, but this boot, this will have to come out of here. I'll take this entire boot out of here, redo this some kind of way, and actually add it where it has a fireplace underneath where the TV pop out. I definitely would have to take this comf this uh, couch out here and put something more comfortable because this is my home. I, I don't care about you know how people think I should keep it. I want something comfortable. I love the kitchen. Love, love, love the kitchen. I wish it would have had like an oven, but it has the conventional microwave oven. I don't really care for those, but I'll get used to it. It's not no big deal. The stove top is underneath, underneath here. Full-size refrigerator. Got the pantry. And this right here doubles as either a closet or it's a uh, bunk space, which I absolutely love. So you can, this is, uh, you can have this raised up and i think this one has it yeah i don't know if you guys can see it but there's like a coat hanger thing right along here so when this one goes up it brings up the coat hanger so then this becomes a full closet which is great and it doesn't look bad when it's closed it just looks like a cabinet piece and if you need it lower it down and you can have your guests sleep there half bathroom Pretty basic, but good size. This is what I love. I love the tilt bed because it gives more room for walking, just like in the other one. Uh, right here, T TV comes up off of a televator, so I like that feature as well too. But here, I always feel like I need something. I want a fireplace in here. So those first two drawers, I probably would remove that and actually put a fireplace here. I would. Uh, this is extra closet space. I don't know if y'all can see this. It's kind of dark. Uh, this right here, hanging space. I guess this right here would be like, you know, folding space. And the bathroom. Bathroom is nice. Shower is cool. It's a little small. They could have did bigger with the shower, but uh, I do like it has a full-size washer and dryer stackable. Uh, bathroom cabinet is pretty deep. Deep size. And this is another thing that I like. So this looks like a cabinet, but it's actually a drawer. You pull it out, 
and you have access to everything behind here. And this slides behind the shower. So this is pretty cool. So yeah, I absolutely like a lot of things. This checks off a lot of things off my list, but cabinet color, the, the way it look, I would do something with this wallpaper. I don't really care for it. Probably paint it a nice little taupe color. And I, I'm not sure about the backsplash. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I probably will do something a little bit more fancy to really give you that, you know, that wow factor when you walk up in here. But I absolutely love this RV. This right here is definitely a five-year RV for me. I love it. And it's a 40 foot. It's not too big. It, it works. I love it. 